Yeah, my starter just literally beat the living shit out of our team. Like the champion's team. Like a true champion. Like the literal shit out of the team. Mm -hmm. What was the first star- uh, the first, like, what Pokemon started the fight? Oh, it was a psychic one. Yeah. Never mind, I remember. Yeah. Which means now I gotta fight pneumonia. Then I can I can grab both pneumonia and penny, and we can go into the dark abyss. Actually, fun fact: you can you can okay. Uh, you know what? Before you fly to fight uh, pneumonia, close it out. Close it or not? Close, close, close. Why? Close the map. Go on to Maridon. Why? Climb up that wall. The rock wall. Why? Climb it. Well, what? You can see into the pit. You can see into the pit before you have to go in it. It looks really cool. The pit? The pit. I want to go into the pit. Pit, yeah. No, you can't. Oh. You can see into it. No, Jump. I... Jump. It's just Jump. fog. Okay, uh, if you go around a certain location, you can actually see a lab area. Do a flip. In the pit, you can see. Do a flip. Wait, no, I could have accidentally fell into the pit, and I had to fly out or climb out. Did they patch that? Probably. Fuck. Yeah, what it I fell far. into the pit and then I got scared because I didn't I didn't know if it would break the game or some shit. So I like climbed out as quickly as I could. Well they definitely patch I guess they started doing patches. Or maybe it was because I know there's certain parts of the, the thing that are glitched, so maybe they Maybe that was it. Alright, I'm about to whoop your ass. I want- I want to marry Rika. Why can't I marry Rika? Any second now. Ah. Uh -uh. Oh, there you are, Eren. Ready for the battle between champions. Yeah, All these folks being ready for the watch. Like, or got around, I guess. Maybe. And about every single person gathered here. I love her. Well, I am. I'm the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's my all-out power versus your strength and full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. I love her. I don't hear name sounding like a, a disease that's killed millions. Maybe. Her name isn't even pneumonia, it's pneumona. Ah, uh, then I'm just pronouncing it. I'm just pronouncing it really then. Is Warden gone gone? Yeah, Warden Big Bad gone gone. Good. And I didn't, wasn't sure which Pokemon she would throw out first. Haha! <laughs> and voided the attack. Oh, fuck you, pneumonia. Slander, pneumonia. Pneumonia. It's pneumonia, dragon. Get it right. 
It is pneumonia. Pneumonia. No. Pneumonia. No. Yes. Yes. Disease. No. She is not a disease. Send out the trunk. Big boy. I love big boy. He big boy. Yippee. Dead Pikachu. Shut up. Oh, no, it was Ice Punch. No! Oh, God. Oh, oh. the trunk thawed out immediately. It was like, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I don't need a full restore, fuck you. <laughs> Earthworm. Oh, I know perfect Pokemon for you. Earthworm. Oh, not the Floridian. Go, Floridian. Oh, hi, Aderna. Aderna! Oh, it's an I don't know. Hello. I beat the Pokemon League, and now I'm finding pneumonia. We also found out who the leader of Team Star was. Of course, we have heal? talked before, but I'm, you might not recognize my voice because um, this is sick lady voice. Uh, <laughs> don't die. That's my uh, job. Well, I don't have the headache anymore. That was a pain. Woke me up like three times. The night I was learning I was sick. It made it so I couldn't, like, eat anything. Damn. Go, Any Lemon. Anything now? Yes, it made me want to go to sleep, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go like let some string build up and I'll be right back. I'll no. be back like 20 minutes. Okay. I can't believe that she slept crocodile became a, a bird haver crocodile. Also, wait, that bitch has uh three legaments. Apparently the three legaments one is uh one in twenty-five chance. And she it's has one. Compared to the two middle one. No. What the? Heck? Oh, that did not. Da that did a lot of damage. Of course it did. It was a dragon type move on the dragon type Pokemon. Come on. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? It lived no. on one goddamn health. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, the final Pokemon to the champion? Yeah. Same thing happened to me. <laughs> fucking bitch. That's uh, probably part of the design. Yeah, but uh, the Pokemon League was very weak to fire, as me and Dragon found out. Well, most people are weak to fire, so... Alright. I had Garchomp take the... take the hit, so my level 81 <laughs> Grand Inferno can take out the cat. Yeah, uh, Adorno, there's nothing wrong with having a level 81 Grand Inferno against a level 65 cat. <laughs> nothing wrong at all. So I just beat the champion, so yippee!
I'm still ahead of you. I like the love reason you, why. I, I feel like the reason why they were so easy to defeat was because you had over leveled Pokemon for them to. Yeah, that's fair. And I just whooped Pneumonia's ass. Um, why is it a black screen? Hello? Oh. She dab. Or no, she's crying. No! You... You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Aaron. When you knocked me out flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? So much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me fair and square. And let's get ourselves a minute to have a quick break, Aaron. For round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. I love her. Now, it's time to go into the abyss. Versus... Yo! Ah, uh, fuck. What, what, did it, what did we call him? It's like... Arthritis. Arthritis. We did not call him Arthritis. Well, we can call him Arthritis now, because I genuinely uh, do not remember. Ah. Uh, yo. Argon. Yo, Argon oh, here. Yeah, Argon. <laughs> Whoa, down, buddy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old memo, Steve. Here, all worked up, Aaron. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Of course you do. You little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all that effort we've been putting in around Parmesan has really helped you make a name for yourself. Build up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now, we've all got just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. Be ready and, and waiting at the zero gate. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. The allies will probably be some people you know already. Uh, I we already know. We'll probably be like pneumo pneumonia. It's, it's probably gonna be like pneumonia and. Penny. It's already been confirmed. A computer Penny, hacker, yeah. which is com which is Penny, and a champion. Which is pneumonia. It's already been confirmed. Who we already know who, who it's going to be. Also, okay, wait. We didn't tell. Uh, we didn't tell Aderna who the big boss was. It's Penny. <clears throat> Penny. Hmm. We'll be waiting. Not really that surprising, but. Yeah. All right. Before I go, I'm gonna take a piss. Uh, Dragon, mm -hmm. it's up to you to entertain the stream. Okay. So, um, oh, I actually, I want to go into a rant, well, for entertaining stream. I fucking hate every man that is calling Nimona a stalker or a Yandere, or a mixture of the both. Because she is not. Like, that is so mischaracterized. Yeah. It is not. She's no, because the thing is- not a Yandere. Look, she's very protective of you as her rival. Like, she wants you to be her rival. But it's more of, like, way of, like, she <clears throat> is kind of bad at with social skills. 
and not in the way of like, mm -hmm. oh, she will literally kill someone for you to be her rival. Like, no. She just is like protective because she sees that you are a very capable trainer and she wants to face someone who is a capable trainer. But not only that, people are saying, oh, she's a stalker. How is she, how is she always finding the player when they're doing random gyms and stuff? It's like, you never say, you never have not, you have not questioned when the other rivals in the past games have done it. And you have never questioned when Arvin or Penny message you when you finish doing a team star base or when you finish, like when you find a legendary or like one of the legends in the wild. Like a completely random chance of which one you would find in the goddamn mm -hmm. wild. Like, it's, ugh. It's so obvious, just misogyny. It's, uh, I hate it. Well, like, also, um... <laughs> in, like, uh, earlier, I was gonna say in earlier games, they kind of, like, played it off as, they're, they just came out of the gym, or they're just... They meet you at the gym because they're going to try it too. They're going to try and fight it too. With in the in the story, I, Nomona has already defeated all the gems. Like she's already a champion. So, mm -hmm. like I'm I'm seeing as all the elite four keep, ha, can keep tabs on you. Like some of the elite four just meet you after defeating or before defeating the gym leader. Like. Like, no one says that they're weird for doing that shit, but when it comes to fucking Nimona, it's like, oh, why is she doing that? It's like, she's probably just asking, like, what gym you're at so that she can, like, test your skills and shit. It's not that weird. Like, it's shown that champion ranked people have power in the game. Like, they that's just, mm -hmm. they can just, like, hey, let, go like, hey, can you look up this trainer? Like, where, where are they at? Are they doing good? No? Yes? No? Anyway, I'm back. Hello. Right, okay, so you know more about the Yandere trope, right? Uh, please, mm -hmm. for the love of fuck, tell me... You, 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 you hate... Ugh, God damn it. Please tell me you don't think that Nimona is a Yandere. Has she murdered someone? No. Then no. Yeah, like, ah, I hate people that are going on Twitter, they're like, Oh, she's such a Yandere. She's not. She's just a woman passionate about battling and is slightly protective of the fucking the main character. When you're <coughs> when you're like entire knowledge of people is based on archetype based on I say honestly, misogynistic archetypes of women. Yeah, like in it's, anime. It's, it's only dudes. It is only dudes saying this shit, and it's like all dudes too. It's like she is not a stalker, you dumb fuck. Go outside. Like ah. So annoying. It's the game hasn't even been out for a full goddamn week and people are already ruining her character. Oh an Eevee. Oh and that's a deerling. Oh an Eevee. Wait, that's not an Eevee. Shush. I brought one Applin on me while I was going to go fight a uh, fucking Squirrel Boy, and it did not turn out to be the Pokemon I wanted. God damn it! I wanted to be a shiny. Why are they not green? I'm full. I'm going forward, but my Pokemon's going backwards for a moment. Ah, oh, there we go. I could have gone through the gate, but I decided to climb instead. Hey, over, over here. 
your your tra your trainer went through the gate anyways. I know. This is a zero gate. It was made so researchers could observe the inside of the great crater of Parmesan. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Mariadon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. The end of the story. And then I'll be going around playing the Pokedex. Oh, kind of dark in here. Hola, Aaron. Arvin, I mean, Argon said there would be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard about... I heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And, wh and where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. Last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I I turned them on. Seems like they were on powered saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the Penny. kid, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm pneumonia. I'm in class 1A. Must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon Battling 2? Mark, you talk way, like, way too much. Did that the director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's no brainer. Anyway, Penny also agreed in the second when she heard it was to help Aaron. I'm not really the inventoring type, but I owe you, Aaron. And I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me. Argon. My. My loves in include Mabba Stiff and Cooking and Biometric Identification and Progress. Hello, Aaron. I've been collecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. What? The Professor Toro? Pneumonia, pneumonia student ID number 805C001 and Penny student ID number 803B121. Thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, Argon, did you, uh, tell your dad about us? 
When would I have the time to do that? To begin with, I would like to ask you all to make your way down to the Great Crater of Parmesan. You can reach the lowest chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Um, Dad. Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Alright, let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's go fuck up some strong ass Pokemon. I'm at them, they're like level 5. <laughs> like you just walk in and you see a Piplup and it's like, oh. And it's level fucking like 70. <laughs> they're all like... They're all like level 100. <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. I want to give him that voice now. For no reason. Ooh. It opened up to for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through... You'll be above Area Zero. Aaron Bright, you have brought Maridon with you. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And, wait, did you say Maridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Why are you giving him a robot voice? I don't know. We are rolling people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? No, she's just autistic. Jesus, Penguin. She is. Look, I don't mean that in a negative way. I love her. But that is obviously an autistic bitch. I guess we better go too. Well, time Autistic to go. Autistic people are cool and swaggy. I do not mean that in any rude way. And right, ready for the worst? Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Oh, cutscene time. No. He looked confused. No. Oh. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. Oh God! How are four people? But nobody really scared goddamn. if we go together. How does logic work? Get on. God. Oh god, you're just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on it! I'm- Everything's fine. That looks actually kind of cool with the clouds. Mm -hmm. There are some like really good bits in this game, despite like how much of a train wreck it can be in parts. It, this game is so fucking like, ah. Yeah. God, that's pretty. Okay, the trees are kind of ugly, but oh, that's pretty. If I remember correctly, yeah, a bunch of Pokemon in this this area are, like really fucking strong. Are they stronger than Grand Inferno? <laughs> uh, no idea. <laughs> and now I'm back here again. 
Ha, ha. I think I might have died once or twice there. <laughs> he looks like he's about to take a shit. He looks terrified. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, poor baby. It chose to go back into its ball? It probably just got hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's that student council girl? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. Imagine she, like, comes back with, like, a... a like a piplup or something. <laughs> Come on already. I, I... Yeah. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. That's Vital signs weird. all within normal range. It appears you are able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha! Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who, who would think... Possibly complain about a landing like that. That is good. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Aw, oh, you were worried about us. That's so sweet. Watch, watch Professor Turtle just be a machine the entire time. <laughs> you should make your own way to meet me at Zero Lab, in the deepest part of Area Zero. However... Oh, did you interact with anything in the, uh... Wait, what? Did you interact with anything in the, the lab where you fought Arvin? I mean, we got the book, but that's about it. No, you can, like, interact with everything in here. Okay. Also, the, uh, when you interact with the small books on the shelf, it, uh, let me read what it says. There are, a pi uh, there are picture books for kids. One of them tells a story about making a big sandwich. Oh my god, I'm sad. <laughs> anyway. However, the entrance to the lab is buried with by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to meet me, you must f visit four research stations that are constructed inside the crater. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do as, as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. I don't know why, but I just now love giving Professor Turo a robotic, like, voice. Like, they're normal for a moment, then they just stop being normal. <laughs> well, like... Yeah. Uh, I know what happens in the story, so I'm not gonna say anything. Better not. Anyway. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the lab. Sounds like, like video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Okay, now I can control myself. You can't find ride my ride on here. Oh, uh, we we can only run. So this is the inside of the Great Crater of Parmesan. Feels a different seeing it in our textbooks. It's so intense. Normally we'd never be able to get in here and see it for ourselves. Huh? Wait, where did Mariah go? 
It seems he's get spooked by something. It's hiding his ball. And cereal? That's not good. Can we even get back to the surface without it? It should be alright. Last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through if you get a real sob story. Why don't you just call the professor if he's down here? Don't they get along or something? None of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, I don't need to bite my head off. Alright, what are you getting all huffy for? I can't read this fast. It, it keeps skipping, so I'm just not gonna read it. It's going way too fast. I'm not seeing any of the new Pokemon. I think you have to go down further. There's a Pokeball right over there. It's the Pokemon that Marvin had. Oh look, it's the, it's the new Drifrig evolution. Yeah, what a good boy. I have a burning grudge against that Pokemon right there. Fancy? A shiny stone. Can I just jump off? Chancy just went semi-transparent right there. Yep, I can jump off. <laughs> oh, I got saved by my phone and I... What happened? You hurried back to the other so you wouldn't get separated. <laughs> the game's like, no. <laughs> No, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you must slowly go down. Well, that makes sense because you don't have, like, Mariah Dawn to keep you from getting hurt. Well, Rotom phone, phone saved me right at the end. Then it, the game was like, no. So yeah, you can't cheat the system as much as you want to. Holy shit, talent flames. Yeah. I have not seen a single shiny this entire game. You know, people say you can easily find them. I think the thing is, is you probably haven't found one, is because there's a bunch of shinies in this game that are barely noticeable. So, it's very possible you might have seen didn't one. You find... <clears throat> didn't you didn't find the shiny that. spoo thing? No. That wasn't me. Alright. Anyway. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, that's... What were they called? Radish rations? Research stations. <laughs> well, I was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. That's... What's great in my common sense compared to you lot, apparently? She just insulted all of us. Oh, look. Yeah, it is. Okay. What the heck is that? That's the Pokemon La Pangea uses. I didn't know this species could be, could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Aaron Brett. Let's take it on together. It's a little baby. 
Can I catch it? Maybe. Oh no, she's also here, so probably not. Yeah, I can't. She just one shot at it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, I know she's strong, but holy fuck. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> uh, are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please. You have got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Alright. Let's do this. It was a glimmit. That's what they're called. Glimmits. Wow. Are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research sta station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for all those surveilling Area Zero. Oh. So that's why there there's a bed? Looks like we can just use this place to rest up if we need to. Aaron Bright, if you if you would like to be so kind to disable the first lock on the lab. Use the central panel. I'm starting to feel like this is not even the professor speaking to us. And we're about to release something really bad. Maybe. Again, I'm not- I'm keeping my mouth shut. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. See, it's starting to sound really robotic. Maybe. Yeah. Argon's family hish story is really sad. Okay, so we can't go down this way. But I'm not seeing a path. So we do we just... Right? Go yeah. down? See if we can go down that way. Yes. 
see. Okay. Do they follow? They don't follow. Wait, are they following? Oh, well, well pneumonia is following. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're glitching. They're all following. I have a feeling. Oh yeah, there was a thing over there. <coughs> Not sure if we. <laughs> Look, one of them is stuck in the wall. <laughs> Let's see how high level they are. They're only level fifty-five. I can take this bitch out. Okay, they teleported. Okay. Is this the second Yippee. one? I have no idea if this is the second one or we just skipped one. Because we, we didn't go down that. <laughs> we might have skipped one. Oh, no. The second research station. About time, too. Okay, so yeah, we weren't supposed to do that. So I can see a path right above the building. <laughs> Whoops. Phew. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you had a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. Fun fact that that Pokemon is banned in competitive because it's really broken. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. What the? Ah! Aaron, Aaron Bright, it's battle time. Well, if it's on my own, I might be able to catch it. No. God damn it. Oh, Penny's fighting with you. Yeah. I love Penny. Yep, I was right. <laughs> Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Well, this pl looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like water Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? I had a Monsters of Area Zero. They already read all that stuff. Monsters of Area Zero? So they... 
aren't actual Pokemon. I don't really know. What do you think, Aaron? I don't think they're like reg regular Pokemon. Why is this Palmot like completely killing everyone in my team? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in distant day. We have yet to see. F future Pokemon? Wh what? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon. To this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here. He actually got it working? Indeed. Though, cost was catastrophic. The, the cost? What, a time machine? You mean, you can actually travel to and from the future? It is... It is, theoretically, possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Now, then, Aaron Bright, please use a central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Well done. Please continue here efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Aaron Bright. You know, that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not one for experts to fix whatever the artist is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Take care of it for me, okay, Aaron? Alright, let's get going. Oh, we've got two more stations left. Apparently, Pneumonia's family is rich. Not surprising. 
They apparently have created the Rotom phones. Oh, hell yeah. Can't tell if that's a different Bisharp or the same one. Oh, God. That's a regular one. <laughs> Penny's famous, unbelievably annoying. Now they're just talking about my mother and the food she makes. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure we have. I don't know. Oh, I have a lot of shit in my inventory. No. Shut up. No. Stop talking. No. I'm going to bite you. <laughs> no. Anyway. Alright, any other research station? <sighs> nice. We get to chill for a minute. <laughs> Something's gonna jump at, out at us again. 100% guaranteed. I almost did the robot voice <laughs> for a moment there. Ah. Uh. Oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a f future Pokemon all along? Well, you've battled one of these before, Argon. Argon, it looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, even Brian and I were old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Mm. Mm. The only thing that sucks about catching the titans is that, that they're not at actual size. Um, I can see through oh. the map. Just, just change the camera a little bit. Oh, never mind. The game did it for me. Haha. <laughs> That was easy. See that? Victories are ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herbert Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our our crater get together jealous uh if we got things from the little girl future roaming around parmesan that's a major problem isn't professor toro doing anything to keep them under control how could he let this happen yeah right because it's not like oh so brilliant professor toro ever messes up come on aaron Let's get into that research station. <laughs> and we made it to station number three. How are 
How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the Professor mentioned that time machine. Rick one here at Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Mariadon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Wait. Is there supposed to be a Pokeball that's in the middle of the floor right there? I don't think so. <laughs> There's just a random Pokeball in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I've actually had that happen before. Can you pick it uh, up? It was on one of Arvin's, uh, like, legendary thing. I think it was actually the last one. Ah. Uh. And it was glitched in the floor. Uh. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving me, giving off future vibes. Even it, its name sounds futury. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Argon. You had Mariadon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh. You still remember from that from way back? No wonder, wonder you're everybody's little star people. Guess you get no choice then, but guess I get no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Riodon, that is, I found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Mariadon, which I entrusted to Aaron Bright, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through, through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns. I came to realize that I, I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Silasaur, a Pokemon commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many. Other Pokemon also come to this place from across boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Mariadon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Mariadon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Aaron Bright. Please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Well, well done. Only one remains, remains now. Please continue on to the final resource station. Only one left. <laughs>